So the things, if you think about what is going to give you success in making a lifestyle change, you have to figure out what exactly, is, I think if you know what the concept is or what happens biochemically in your system to make you both hungry or, and hunt for food or satiated and happy, then you might be able to understand, if you understand better, then you might be able to attain the control of those two situations with much greater ease. So what makes us hungry? Well, uh, the, the stomach, when it's empty and when it's going to be looking for food, it starts to secrete a hormone called ghrelin. Ghrelin, when the stomach is empty, uh, gets secreted by the digestive system, mostly the pancreas, the stomach, and it sends that hormone on into the blood, and when that hormone reaches the brain, the brain starts to hunt, starts to seek pleasure in the form of food. And once the pleasure is attained, meaning once you eat and you start, your stomach starts to sense that there's dense fiber or dense food in the stomach in its contents, and when the stomach starts to get distended, then it shuts off the ghrelin, and as soon as the ghrelin doesn't go to the brain anymore, because it's not getting secreted anymore, then the brain usually is pretty happy. And uh, so I will talk specifically more about that one in the next couple of slides. But uh, other things that make you uh, hungry are circadian rhythm. Sometimes if it uh, just happens to be 6 a.m. and you usually wake up and you're usually used to eating, then you're going to want to have all the hormones are built around that circadian rhythm and around lunchtime and around dinner time. So it's naturally going to play into um, you and your timing of the day. And certainly emotion also makes you hungry uh, or hunt for food. Sometimes if you uh, don't have any satisfaction, you're stressed out, and you don't have any other ways to calm down that stress response with relaxation practice or exercise, well, what are you going to go for? Alcohol or food. 